No one enjoys the negative effects aging can have on our bodies and minds. It's a real drag and most people feel the aches and pains associated with aging and become less active, less fit and let's face it, less fun to be around. This is compounded by the fact that our brains can also slow down, our cognitive function weakens and we are increasingly at risk for dementia. Life can get frustrating and sometimes that can make seniors crabby. No one ever intends to become a crabby older person but some days can be harder than others for them. But believe it or not, there is a very simple solution. That solution is being active. By following a simple exercise routine, seniors can actually slow down and possibly prevent many of the negative effects of aging. And that's where you come in. Benefits of exercise for seniors include everything from improving their sleep, reducing their risk for many medical conditions, and improving their overall mood and outlook. As you know, there are all sorts of ways to exercise. Cardiovascular exercise, balance exercise, flexibility and resistance weight training. The type of exercise most often recommended for seniors by health professionals is cardiovascular exercise. And while there are many benefits of cardiovascular exercise, it is especially important for older adults to also take up other types of training. In particular, progressive resistance training can play a very important role in the health of older adults and should not be overlooked. Many health professionals are hesitant to recommend resistance training to seniors, but it does not pose a greater risk of injury than other types of exercise, even among individuals with cardiovascular disease or low bone mass. Resistance is specifically shown to be safe and very beneficial among individuals with low bone mass. It improves bone health and reduces their risk of falling. To make sure that your senior client is able to do resistance training, you should perform all the usual pre-exercise screening methods. If they have any health conditions, make sure you know all the details and medications. Get written consent and exercise specifications from their doctor. Researchers have found that progressive resistance training has a whole range of benefits for seniors. Critically, resistance training moderates the development of sarcopenia or age-related loss of muscle mass and strength, something that cardiovascular exercise training does not do. This reduces the risk of falls and fractures. Even more exciting for many seniors, recent evidence also now suggests that progressive resistance training has specific benefit for both cognitive and brain function in older adults. A University of British Columbia study of seniors found that after one year of doing a progressive resistance training program twice a week, study participants had marked improvement in their cognitive ability. Specifically, they scored up to 13% higher in tests related to decision making. Resistance training also improved the function of brain areas that support decision making. Imagine you could help seniors get better at making important decisions. Now this is likely because weight training increases the body's level of what are called growth factors. Now growth factors are responsible for cellular growth, proliferation and differentiation. Some specific growth factors have significant benefit for the brain. They promote neuron growth, differentiation and survival. Also, learning a new skill and being healthier improves the overall quality of life and confidence of seniors. So how can you help seniors get all these benefits? Let's go through a simple, good, progressive resistance training program for seniors and highlight some of the things you should look out for when working with seniors. The muscle groups who want to hit for maximum benefit are their core, upper back, lower body muscles and shoulders and arms. Some senior clients may benefit if you adapt your standard working style to suit their demographic. For example, when giving instructions, it's good to be concise, to speak clearly and loudly enough so clients hear and understand information. Explain one thing at a time, give them a chance to try it and gradually add on more. Emphasize breathing. Like all beginners, seniors tend to either hold their breath or concentrate too much on breathing and forget about proper exercise technique. If they are confused, just ask them to breathe as usual. Finally, 
be prepared to answer a lot of questions and to listen to a lot of stories. Now don't rush. Sometimes the training session is the highlight of the day for them. So enjoy their company and get to know them. Start with one or two sessions per week and increase according to the client's needs. And make sure they have one day of rest between training days. Always perform 10 to 15 minutes of thorough full body warm up. For the UBC study, participants warmed up on music, performing easy rhythmic movement and dynamic stretching for major muscle groups and body parts. Make sure you explain to your client how important the warm-up is prior to progressive resistance training or to any type of exercise regimen. It is extremely important to ensure that proper form is followed. No additional weight should be added until proper form is achieved. Proper form is crucial to the overall effectiveness and safety of progressive resistance training. To determine how much weight seniors should use, the UBC study used the 7RM method. Make sure to choose the weight level for your senior client following standard guidelines. We will use six to eight reps for two sets, and when the sets are completed with proper form and no discomfort, the resistance can be increased systematically. There are a lot of exercises you can do without gym equipment to get your client started. Simple squats are a great way to start. This exercise is an easy way to work your quads, hamstrings and glutes. Have them stand with their feet hip width apart. Ensure that they keep their spine neutral and their core contracted. Slowly on a two second out, two second in motion, have them squat down about a third of the way to the floor. Ask them to slowly return to start and make sure they keep their knees aligned with their feet. Have them do eight repetitions for two sets with a nice little break in the middle. It's usually not too difficult to retain balance with this exercise, but you can consider having them do it against a wall and add a stability ball behind their mid or lower spine to help. You can always add a backpack or have them hold on to free weights or soup cans once they've mastered good form and are ready for more of a challenge. Of course, another way to exercise similar muscles to the squat is the leg press machine. If they have poor balance, this is a great option and help them find the right weight level. We'll have them do eight reps for two sets again. Sit them on the machine so they have about 90 degrees in their bent knees. Keep their feet higher but in full contact with the leg platform. Make sure their feet, knees and hips are aligned and that they keep control of the weights on the way back. You may need to add a rolled up towel or pillow in the small of their back or add a small ball in between their knees to prevent knocking their knees when extending. Common mistakes to look for, locking knees on extension, arching lower back and inner thigh adduction. Just like the squats, the leg press works their core and their leg muscles, both key muscle groups for staying physically able as we age. After the first eight repetitions, have them take a little break and do another set. Great work. Another wonderful overall exercise for the legs is the reverse lunge. It works their glutes, calves, hamstrings and quads. Ask them to stand with their feet hip width apart, standing tall with their core engaged and a forward gaze. Have them take a slow controlled lunge backwards with one leg, keeping their feet hip width apart and slowly lower their hips so that their forward thigh becomes parallel to the floor. Hold for one or two seconds, then ask them to return up in a slow and controlled fashion. Step forward to the start position and repeat with the opposite leg. Make sure they keep their knees aligned with their feet. Their knees should never go past their toes. And have them continue to do this eight times, then take a break and do eight more, four per side. You can always add weight to this with a backpack or free weights in their hands. If they have difficulty maintaining balance and form with this exercise, consider trying the hamstring curl machine if you have access to one. Awesome! Now let's move on to some upper body work. A standing row exercise with just a resistance band is a great way to start. This works the latissimus dorsi and upper back and shoulder muscles. Ask them to stand with their knees slightly bent, neutral spine, core contracted, chest lifted, shoulders back, neck neutral, 
ears above shoulders, gaze forward. Have them pull the resistance band back with their elbows at 90 degrees. Make sure they don't shrug their shoulders. Have them release the band in a controlled manner back to the starting position. Do this for eight repetitions and then rest and do another set. Check in to see how they're feeling. You can also do an exercise like this with the lateral pull machine. Again, determine a good weight for your client. And just like everything else, have them do eight reps in two sets. Adjust the seat height so that they are seated with their feet flat on the ground. Adjust the thigh pads so that they are resting lightly on top of their thighs. If they are too short, they can stand to grab the handles and sit down while holding on. Remind them to keep their spine neutral and their chin tucked in. Ask them to pull in their core muscles to protect their precious spine. And have them pull the bar down to the front of their forehead. Instruct them to do the motion slowly. Have them breathe in and then out on pullback. Common mistakes to look out for. Arching of the lower back, shrugging their shoulders when they pull down, poking their chin forward, locking their elbows, or jamming on concentric. This exercise works their arms, shoulders, and upper back muscles. Explain that these muscle groups are important for maintaining strength for daily tasks and good posture. Complete the first set of eight, have them rest, and then do the second set. That's great! Make sure to do at least 10 minutes of cool down. Be prepared to modify the cool down stretches for any health limitations. Hold the stretches for 30 to 45 seconds and make sure that they are aware that some muscle soreness is normal and teach them the difference between good pain and bad pain. There are many adaptations that can be made to create a simple routine for seniors with common medical conditions. As mentioned, if you have a client with a medical condition, always check with their doctor first. Make sure your client has taken their medications and that the gym environment is healthy. For example, make sure there are no strong perfumes in the air that may trigger an asthma attack, no extreme fluctuations in air temperature for clients with heart conditions, and so on. Some patients with physical limitations from arthritis, osteoporosis or a hip replacement will benefit from using adaptations and props for some exercises. Adherence to fitness programs can be quite difficult for older adults because of various factors such as time, costs, transportation and pain. Establish smart, realistic goals from the beginning and offer praise for each achievement. Some of your senior clients may have difficulty remembering all the details of their program when you are not present. Engage with family members to offer support and encouragement. If they prefer working out with a partner or group, do your best to accommodate that. An exercise community can become a vital social support network. Help your clients understand that progressive resistance training can have great results, but may take more time and commitment than they'd hoped for. So that's it. Once they can complete these three exercises with accommodations when necessary, your clients can always talk to you about adding more. And they only have to set aside the time to do this with you once or twice a week to receive the benefits for their bodies and brains. They'll probably make great friends at the gym and it will be something they look forward to on each workout day and you will be key to their success. So if you want to help this growing demographic improve their overall health and keep their brains sharp, you should consider taking on more senior clients. It can be a very rewarding part of your job. Share this video with a work friend to make sure they understand how important fitness is for older adults. Together we can improve the health and well-being of seniors everywhere. They'll be sharper, more fun to hang out with, and quite simply, life will get a whole lot better for them and for their community. What's stopping you?